This is the, the OraQuick test package that we receive from uh, Orisher Technologies in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. It comes to us packaged just like this, or it would come to us packaged just like this. There's a lot of extra packaging, and we, we would try to fold it in different ways so it would fit inside of the package that we designed. But in this uh, piece of mylar is the swab and the vial. And uh, these are the two pieces that, that come inside the prepackaged uh, test kit. In each of our final kits that are given away, uh, there are two sets of these. Thinking about the package itself, um, starting from scratch, we, we had some 3D renderings that we put in front of folks in, in KwaZulu-Natal. Um, after that, they chose the direction they wanted to go, so I had to start building some sort of prototype. So it was all about this end cap. Like, how, bu how big should it be? Um, this one I just made out of some tag board paper and quickly taped it together. So from the, the simple paper form, I went to this a little bit higher resolution uh, double ply chipboard model, thinking about what that material would be in the final end cap. Uh, we were thinking that it would be sort of an egg carton material that could be ma manufactured locally. So thinking about the how big the hole should be, how big the overall cap should be, and how the paper or the end, sorry, the wrapper or the poster instructions of the package would fit into that. So from there, we started thinking about the final design. Um, in this one, you can see there's sort of these little divots on the side and the way that they kind of go on the inside also. So when the package skin fits inside, it would click in uh, through some little tabs that are inside. Of course, the, the hole you know, is uh, big enough for the vial, and you could just set this on any flat surface in wherever you're taking this test. The way that we build these plastic um, end caps, which these are just sort of form models to prove that the concept would work, um, ultimately would be out of uh, paper pulp. We build these in a 3D printer. The way that this works is there's sort of a tray that fits inside of a, it's about a refrigerator sized object. Um, and inside is, it's a lot like a regular bubble jet printer. But instead of ink coming out of the print head, a, a bead of plastic, like a thread of plastic, comes out and builds up in layers, sort of like a, a stack of pancakes. After it's done growing, it stays pretty warm in, in the oven for a little while. And then we take them out, we break these off of the tray, and then uh, both parts, the black plastic and the red plastic, go into sort of a, uh, just a hot water bath. Um, the red plastic is not water soluble, but the black plastic is. So uh, in a few hours at 70 degrees Celsius, it uh, boils away all the, all the black plastic. So you have sort of this red boat shape. This is the, the package, how it would be distributed. Um, of course, the materials aren't exact. These are plastic, and they would be paper in the ultimate form. But this is how it would look on the shelf at the local drugstore or the community center or wherever it is that this is given away. So it's uh, two sides. When you take off the caps, you pull out the, the test kit inside, and then both caps come apart, and then the skin of the package actually becomes the instructions. On the back, um, there's sort of a poster that you could put up or give to a friend. We have useful information on this side. We have local luminaries that are part of the program on the other side.